Hi, you're with Shandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about that. How do you highlight the current month selected in the line chart? Now, in a recent consulting assignment, I had to prepare a chart, which is where I had the months on the horizontal axis. And what I had to do was I had to highlight the current month selected within the slicer in the line chart. Now, this was something that is not usually done in Power BI. Let's just see what setup do you need to do to be able to get this done. No further ado, let's go. All right, people, I'm in Power BI, and that's where I have built a few charts. I would like to explain you the problem first, then show you the solution. I will also talk about the logic in which I'm building the solution. Let's take a look. Here, I have a very simple line chart, and you can see that against this line chart, we have the months presented. Across the months, the metric that you're taking a look at, which is nothing but the line, is nothing but my total sales presented. There are a couple of other charts as well. The same months that we have on the horizontal axis, which is nothing but the calendar table month column, is also there presented in the slicer right here up on the top. So August month has been selected. Now you can see that as soon as I change the month from August to any other month, the entire data of the dashboard is going to reflect to that month. I'm sure you know the you know of that if I just change that to let's say September or October or November, the data actually is of that month. The problem is that nothing happens to the chart itself. The line chart stays the same because the interaction of the slicer and the line charts have been turned off because I want to show the trend of the entire year, no matter whichever month is selected. So what I did was I went over to the slicer, went to the format tab, clicked on the edit interactions and I turned off the interactions between the line chart and the slicer right here. Now, if I happen to turn on the interactions, what's going to happen is that since the slicer has the ability to filter everything on the screen, the line chart will also get filtered to that very month. And the only data point that you'll be taking a look at is the month of November and nothing else. And that's the only data point that I take a, take a look at. Now, the line chart obviously doesn't start to make any sense if you just have one data point in the line chart. That's the reason why I turned this particular interaction off so that I can take a look at the entire trend of the sales throughout the year. The problem is that, however, when I select any particular month, it doesn't visually represent that what month has been selected in the line chart. So the line chart stays as it is. I would although like to highlight somehow the month of November, if November is selected or the month of August, if August has been selected. Now, here is the solution. I go over to the next page. On the next page, the same line chart, but this time, if I happen to change the month from let's say July to June or May or April or March or February, Jan, I get to have the current month highlighted in the line chart. Now we'll take a look at how do we build this right from scratch. All right, before I start to delve deeper and go into the weeds of writing the DAX and creating all the relationships and other kind of stuff, I would like to explain you the logic because if you understand the logic, you'll be able to take this solution and apply it in creative ways on your own data. Now, please take a look. Here, if you take a look at the line chart, two things are happening at the same time. The month of June has been selected and this particular slicer is not interacting with the line chart when it comes to displaying my total sales line chart right here. So even though the month of June has been selected, but I can still see the sales of all the months presented via the line. That's where the line chart is not connected with the slicer. Now you can see that the month of June has been selected and I'm only able to highlight the current month, which is presented in the slicer. So that's where the month of June is connected with the line chart. We have to make sure that both of these calculations run in sync. Now, this has been done through a disconnected table that I have created and a couple of measures will now start get cracking on building those things in our dashboard. All right, first things first, let's first create the disconnected table and then just take it from there. I have a simple data model, which is where I have the sales table, the calendar and the products table. They are all linked to one to many relationship, but I'm also creating a disconnected calendar table, which is right here, which has no relationship with any other table. The only two columns that this particular table has is the month column and the month sort order column. Now let's just take a look at the DAX that I am using on this table. Now you can also create this using Power Query, but I'm just using DAX. Simple uh, summarize function and I take over the month column from the calendar table, take over the month index column from the calendar table and create this 12 rows of table, which is where I have the month name and the sort order of the month name. Now, this particular table and especially the month column of this table is going to be used in the line chart. Now, I'm going to create a very simple blank canvas and start to do my work 
And the work that I will do is, is in a form of a table. Once the table is up and running, we'll convert that table to a line chart. Take a look. On this particular canvas right here, I have two slicers, the year slicer and the month slicer. Both of these slicers come from the calendar table and not our disconnected table. The reason? Because in your canvas, you're going to have many, many visuals. You're going to have a bar chart, a table, a line chart, any, a lot of other visuals which are apart from the line chart that we're trying to create. All of these visuals are going to be interacting with the one single calendar table and not your disconnected table and they should just work fine. That's the reason why the two slicers up on the top need to be from the calendar table. Although the line chart that we are trying to create is going to be from the disconnected calendar table. So this particular line chart that we're trying to create, which is as of a table as of now, this particular column, the month column is going to be from the disconnected calendar table and the month column right here. Now, in order for me to create a line chart, the thing that I would want to do is display the sales value against every single month that I have. That's what I'd like to do. So I'm going to take my total sales calculation and put that in the table right here. Now you can see that because the year of 2011 and the month of March has been selected, I'm seeing the sales of March against all of the months that are displayed right here. The problem is that this particular monthly calendar table has no way to go speak to the sales table. So whatever filters are coming from the calendar table, it's respecting those filters and showing the values against all the months that are displayed against this particular visual. Now, I don't really want that. I would want the month of January, which is currently disconnected, to speak with my sales table and actually calculate the correct sales for the month of January, even though I do not have a relationship. How do we do that? We're going to use a treat as function for that. And if you don't know the treat as function as of yet, I'm going to leave a link to a video or two and you can actually take a look at the treat as function. But for now, let me just create a new measure. In the measure, I'm going to say that, hey, I'm trying to calculate total sales. Although I understand that I do not have a relationship between the monthly calendar table month column and the calendar month column, but I want to build an artificial relationship using the treat as function. Now this particular function is going to act like there was a relationship. So I'm just going to take this particular measure, drag that to my visual. And what do I see? I see the correct sales for every single month, even though the disconnected table hasn't got any relationship with the sales table or the calendar table. Okay, this solves part one of the problem, which is where I was trying to build a line chart. And even though the month of March has been selected, I still see the entire sales of all the months. Please take a look. I'm just going to show you a quick demo in between. So I'll just take over the total sales and have total sales for line chart right here, which is driving my artificial relationship and convert this visual into a line chart. Now you can see that even though I have the month of March selected, but I can still see all the sales values of all the months through a line chart. Now, the only thing which is pending as of now is to create a calculation which identifies what month has been selected in the calendar slicer and what month am I currently working on right here in the visual and then highlight that particular data point in a form of a marker or something. Let's just go back to the table visual and carry it from there. All right, this is where things get simple and uh, it's quite simple to build a measure that takes a look at what month is selected and what month am I currently working on in this particular table or a line chart visual. All that I do is I make a current month highlight measure and I just perform a very simple check in that measure. All that I say is that this particular month, I can just keep it on the bottom right here. And I'm going to say that this particular month, which is the calendar month, please take a look at what month has been selected in this slicer. Is it a month of Jan, the month of March, the month of Feb, whatever that month is, that month is going to get stored right here, the month of March. Then I say, hey, why don't you take a look at what month are you currently working on in the table or the line chart? So is that the month of Jan, the month of Feb, the month of March? So when this particular measure is going to run on the third filter context, which is the month of March. This March is going to get mar matched with the month of March in the disconnected table. And then once these two values match, I would just want to display the measure, which is total sales for line chart, the treat as measure that I have created. Now, let's just drag this to the to the pivot table or the uh, simple table visual and take a look. What do I get? I get to see that since the month of March has been highlighted, I am now able to see only the sales of the month of March. If I change that to any other month, let's say the month of May, June, July, and that particular month gets highlighted. Pretty cool. This solves 
all the problems all that we need to do is convert this into a line chart so i just go ahead and i convert this into a simple line chart and you can see that uh, with a bit of formatting i should be able to highlight the current month which is displayed up on the slicer so if month of june or august or september or october or november whatever that month that i actually pick up gets highlighted in the line chart right here now obviously i have done a bit of formatting in this particular visual to make it stand out and i'm sure you can do that and this creates the visual that we were seeking all right the line chart is up and running everything is hunky dory all good now this particular line chart is going to bring dissatisfaction to the developer and to the user working with the dashboard on power bi service let me show you how and also the solution for it so as of now you can see that to be able to display my total sales and the highlighting marker in the total sales of the line chart i had to create two dummy measures one was total sales for line chart which is where i activated the relationship right here through the tree task function and this particular measure sits right here as a line of my chart after i created this i had to create another measure of the current month highlight and i took this particular uh, current month uh, current month highlight measure and i displayed that as a dot which is nothing but the marker this particular thing needs to be created for every single measure that is going to go in the line chart the user on power bi service cannot just drag and drop measures into the line chart and expect to highlight the current month automatically in the line chart to be able to solve this problem what we are going to do is create a calculation group that is going to extend the capability of the chart and whatever measure is selected in the chart the current month it is automatically going to be highlighted let's just move over to tabular editor to create a nice little calculation group all right i'm in tabular editor and that's where uh, i have created one calculation group the name of that calculation group is line chart in that calculation group i have two calculation items which is the value and the highlight the value is going to activate the tree task relationship and the highlight is nothing but the marker dot take a look at the simple dax expression for both of these calculation items in case you're not aware about calculation groups i have created a very detailed video on calculation groups i refer a link to that please take a look at that and get started with calculation groups now please take a look the value is nothing but the selected measure now the selected measure could be anything total sales units whatever that might be and that needs to go through a relationship transition of this these two columns which is nothing but the inactive not the inactive but the disconnected month column and the calendar month column this is nothing but the very same calculation that we wrote it in power bi the only difference was that the selected measure was nothing but the total sales now we have selected measure cool once we have the first calculation item ready then we create the next calculation item which is nothing but the highlight now here i say something like if the current month in the slicer which is nothing but the slicer on the top and the current month in the disconnected table they both are equal then i just want to display the selected measure once you have created these two simple calculation groups save it and then return to power bi once you're back in power bi what you can do is uh, just build a line chart in the line chart i have total sales presented right here i have the month on the horizontal axis which is coming from the disconnected table and what i have also got is the calculation group the name column presented right here in the legend now as soon as you do that you're going to find that the total sales comes up as a line and the dot comes up as a red marker which is the current month highlighting pretty good now obviously it might just lack a bit of formatting and you can format that the thing to test for which is the most important thing is that does that become dynamic or not that means tomorrow if i want to change my total sales cancel that out and if i just want to drag my total units calculation right away into my line chart will it automatically highlight the current month which is nothing but the month of november so i'd have my total units measure created i put that in the line chart and voila the line chart is there for the months and the highlighting is there also there for the month of november and it just works absolutely fine for whatever month that i end up selecting in my chart this makes the chart truly dynamic all right that was all about it let me know if you have any questions around this and i'll be glad to reply i'd also want to give a big shout out about my dax and my power query courses in case you're starting out with power bi and dax and power query seem hard you want to master the fundamentals first and then proceed on to solving more challenging problems i'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses it's going to be highly beneficial thanks so much and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers bye